Good morning. It is Tuesday, July 2nd, 2024. I'm back here for Daily Shakeup number 916. And yes, I am back. I took most of last week off for a holiday, which I'm going to talk about today. And back in the USA and ready to get back at it and uh, make some magic, experience some magic. And that's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about leaving space for spontaneity. Uh, I'll be first to admit that there is a place for planning. I also know that we can easily fall into the trap of over planning and that limits often our creativity and our spontaneity and those things that happen in the moment. So here's what I want to talk about. So last week I went on a trip, went on a trip abroad. I went to ultimately England and Scotland, but here's the part that was planned. I left last Friday, arrived Saturday morning. I had planned to spend a couple of days with a friend of mine, Jonathan, and his wife, Lee. Now, these are two, I have not met Jonathan in person. We've only met online. It was magical. Uh, we had become good friends online, but this is our first time in person. So I had a couple of days, a couple of nights planned there with them, but nothing about my time with them was planned. In fact, when we sat down, the first, when I arrived, they said, what do you want to do in the next couple of days? I said, I have no plans. I have no intention. Let's see what unfolds. And oh my gosh, it was so magical. It was um, some long walks. I went and visited Jonathan's brother with for another long walk, had some wonderful conversations, had a traditional British tea at this manor house. None of it was planned except that I would be at their house a couple of days and it was magic. Now I had planned loosely to go for a couple of days to Scotland, uh, specifically Edinburgh, but didn't have the details ironed out at all. I didn't have hotels. I didn't have train tickets because then I was, it was flexible and it also ended up to be magic. I, I left Monday morning, took the train up to Edinburgh, had no plans. I booked my hotel on the train on the way there. Now I'm going to say that most of you would never do that. And I'm going to grant you, let's, let's be acknowledge something here. There's a different reality for a man traveling alone and a woman traveling alone. So I get that. But I want us to keep thinking about where's the role of spontaneity versus planning. I didn't know what I was going to do there. I knew I would see the castle. And it turned out to be magical. Every, every day was unscheduled. I ended up picking a day to go to the castle. And it turns out that my friend Tom in the picture here from Michigan was on a cruise and touring the castle with his partner the same day at the same time. None of it was planned. He ended up literally walking next to me. We only chatted for a few minutes, but it was a reminder of friendship and connection and the smallness of the world and allowing adventure to unfold. Now, when I came back, I was scheduled and planned. The only part of the trip that was really planned was I was leading a men's retreat in Southwest England on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That was planned. And But the, here's the cool part. Everything else was magic, magical spontaneity. In fact, on the drive back from the retreat with uh, several of my friends, we missed a turn. And as a right of missing exit, we made the change in the plans and ended up three of us sat around and had a really beautiful conversation at my friend Michael's house. That conversation would not have happened if we had took the exit. See, the point is that so much of us are trying to stick to the plan and have this locked in plan. And I want to invite you to be more spontaneous, to leave space in your life and in your day and in all that you do for instantaneous magic, for letting things unfold. And if things go off course, maybe make an adjustment as opposed to figuring out how to get back on course. That's what happened with those missed exits. I had 10 or 11 days of mostly spontaneous, magical, adventurous experiences that I wouldn't trade for anything. And when people say, what was the highlight? It was all of it. And mostly because I allowed it to unfold in front of me. So yeah, make plans where you need to and allow some space for spontaneous magic. That's it for today. Have a fantastic Tuesday and I will be back with you soon.